Uh, good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And this is going to be the start of the vlog I promised to make. So, looking forward to it. And also kind of feeling anxious about getting vaccinated. But I am curious and wondering how many people will be at the, at the location basically so and this is going to be my first vlog in any case so speak to you soon I guess checking in for the second time we'll leave it for work the vaccine appointment is at 3.30 in the afternoon in rice strike and kind of feeling anxious actually so not sure what to expect but for now I'm just leaving for work and just going to start the day like I usually do so it's going to be interesting it's going to be quite an interesting day so fortunately I only have to work till like noon so took it half a day off just to prepare for my vaccination so in any case can't wait before this whole thing is over for me or rather the first half of the preparation basically so Check in later. Later. Application. The town I'm working in, so it's going to be quite interesting. And yeah, you don't have to forgive me for making horizontal and virtual videos because I'm not that used to vlogging yet, so it's going to be quite interesting nonetheless. Some nice footage from in front of the station basically, so nothing too interesting right now. So just got done with work. Right now I'm going to get some lunch and after my lunch it's, it should be about time to take a train back to Rijswijk, back to the vaccination center to get vaccinated basically so it's been an interesting day to say the least and so I'm always glad and I will give my thoughts when I walk from the station to the vaccination center but right now this is a little preview of the area I've been working in so it's interesting to say the least <laughs> well the final step before getting to the vaccination location I have so many thoughts at the moment but for now it's more like yeah, the pandemic, let's just say the first vaccination is going to be the first step and tomorrow my parents are actually getting their second vaccine, uh, they're both getting Pfizer, for me it's not known what I'm going to get yet but uh, the one thing I do know is I will be getting an mRNA vaccine so it's going to be a double date against and I'm not sure what to expect to be quite honest because there are so many different stories of people who got vaccinated so some are getting really ill, some don't feel anything and yeah so I wonder how crowded it's going to be at the location to be quite honest because this, ex this location isn't actually in my hometown uh, it's uh, in the neighboring city and if I were to go in my hometown it would have been like at least three weeks or four weeks waiting time and I just wanted to get it over to be quite honest even though I do have a slight fight for needles it's more like a big step I have to take in any case and for real I just hope the pandemic ends at some point in time even though us here in the Netherlands are quite far as far as I can tell because at the moment people who are born in I think it was 1998 as a moment of recording are eligible to make an appointment for their vaccination basically and in the beginning I always thought it was a bit of a chaos uh, regarding the start of the vaccination because AstraZeneca didn't deliver 
but then I had troubles as well. Then there were the whole uh, the whole blood clot thing with AstraZeneca as well. So it was like, yeah, what am I going to get? And then the whole thing incident here in the Netherlands happened with people who at first didn't want to get vaccinated suddenly had uh, uh, preferred treatment basically so they were allowed to go earlier than the ones who were waiting in line basically which also caused quite a stir so it's been interesting and chaotic and well at least well at least everything seems to be going quite smooth right now so well yeah <laughs> Well, now I'm going to stop the recording and you'll talk to me again face to face once I actually had my vaccine. So, talk to you later. Well, some closing thoughts. I just got home after my getting my vaccination. And I'm not sure what to expect the upcoming 24 hours, but the most um, stories I've heard were like, your arm is going to be stiff. You might get some fever and such, so I'll wait and see, but for now my arm is just a bit stiff and that's it. As for getting the vaccination, for the listeners of the podcast, I would say once you're eligible to get vaccinated, get it ASAP. Because I've known almost firsthand how devastating the disease is, so... Please, I implore you, get it as soon as possible when, when it is available in your country because dependent on the country, it's not available or not. So it's more like get it ASAP. And be it AstraZeneca, be it Pfizer, be it Moderna, be it Johnson & Johnson, just get it because it's, it's only like a moment of your time and you're protected at least for at least six months to a year so and I'd rather not see any of you listeners end up at either intensive care or like what's happening in India at the moment where the hospitals are like fully uh, fully booked basically so people are literally dying on the streets and I don't want anyone to go through that I've lost an aunt to COVID-19 and it was devastating and I don't want any of you to go do through that pain that I went through so please take care and get your vaccine ASAP this is the X signing out on towards the regular podcast I would say so <laughs> later <laughs>